Hello and welcome to Health Well For Us. In this video, I wanted to show my process for making my homemade kefir. So this first picture is how it began. And this is as it's sitting. It takes about 24 hours when the weather is cooler for the kefir grains to really um, digest the glucose in the milk or the lactose, I'm sorry. And as you can see on the bottom, there are now spaces forming and they're like little bubbles and that could be ready this is what i was looking for before i began so this is my process for putting the kefir into the sieve i always use everything plastic you don't want to use metal because you don't want anything to corrode or any kind of like metals to get into your kefir Kefir really likes everything plastic and my spatula is uh, with silicone. And so I just kind of mix it around until the kefir grains are left by themselves and the kefir is in the bowl on the bottom. And that looks good to me. I will have to clean off the bottom of the sieve with my spatula before I pour it. And at this point, I'm gonna take the kefir grains and I'm gonna put them in a new jar I believe these are one quart jars and I just buy them at a regular store. I constantly reuse them. They have been really great and I've been using them for years. All of these things I've been using for years. So plastic has been really actually durable for me. So basically I will finish putting the grains in the jar. I will then go and mix up my kefir so it's nice and um, mixed and in the same um, consistency. So then I'm going to take my kefir and I'm going to pour it into the other jar where it was initially. Um, so I'm just pouring the kefir in so it can go in the fridge and sit for at least 12 hours until the consistency gets a bit thicker. Right now, I don't really like to drink it. Then with my kefir grains, I need to feed them and I like to use whole milk, preferably organic. I have used other milks from raw milks to um, not just pasteurized milks and really my kefir grains prefer the homogenized pasteurized whole milk. And I really like how this milk tastes and so that's the milk I've been using. I want to make sure the cap is on loosely. It's on there but it's not tight and then I will put it in the fridge for 12 hours. I like for the kefir to sit in the fridge for about 12 hours because the consistency becomes a lot more thicker and it's just creamy enough, but without um, being too sour. If you leave it in the fridge for too long, it will become more sour. So, and I usually consume one of these quart jars in about a day. And I use it instead of drinking milk or other things because it's really much better on my stomach. But anyway, thanks for um, checking out this video and hopefully it, is, it has helped you on your kefir journey. It has been the greatest journey I've ever taken. I've been doing this for a few years now and I don't ever see myself stopping unless there's a catastrophe. Anyway, I'm Sabetta and thanks for tuning in. Bye.